So that's how it works. It's getting late. Where to now? Ah, you're back. From the sound of your stride, I sense you're in good spirits. Many who undertake the far-reaching journey to the Xianzhou are weighed down by a heavy heart and exhaustion. But your steps are bold and steady. A stride worthy of a nameless. Let's get down to business. I analyzed the prescription you procured, the draft of Draconic Surge. Now that I have a preliminary conclusion, it needs to be delivered to the seat of Divine Foresight. The conclusion... Put simply, I don't believe that the draft of Draconic Surge holds the cure to the Mara. Even in the foreseeable future, there will likely not be any such cure. I've compiled the details into a written analysis. If you're interested, feel free to take a look. This is a copy of pharmacological studies on the draft of Draconic Surge. You're back. Any... Wow. Even for those alchemists, that was fast. Don Shu. W wait, why would the Alchemy Commission's chief alchemist be away from her post? I've heard that the chief alchemist is visually impaired. She rarely leaves the Alchemy Commission delve. She has a vast knowledge and expertise. No wonder she was able to analyze... Let me see her report. No cure? <sighs> Where did these villains get their hands on such a complex prescription? This is infuriating. Still, this is a clue we can follow. Thank you. Please, take that. Tree remained dead for thousands of years. Thank you for coming on such short notice. My stay in Exalting Sanctum was supposed to be focused on treating people and delivering medicine. But the Seat of Divine Foresight tasked me with analyzing the prescription. I've been severe. I've already concocted some of the medicine in question. But there can't be any further delays. Could you assist me in ensuring it arrives on time? Thank you. If she's gotten into any trouble, be sure to let me know when this is the medicine. Her house is near the Court of Tranquility. 
It shouldn't be hard to find her. Is this the one Danshu? She's stuck! <laughs> she can't get down! Hey, what you looking at, Outworlder? Mind your own business! What's this got to do with you? You were family or something? Because you don't look like it. Hmm. You're just trying to be a hero. You should... Who do you think you are? Keep your nose out of this. I beat people up all the... Yeah, get lost! Mars! Uh, stop yelling and help me up all... Uh, they use some kind of hidden power! I saw it! You're a cheater! That's right. If you hadn't cheated... I would have knocked your lights. Are you sure about that, boss? They didn't even flinch. Ugh, shut up! Boss, let's get out of here. We shouldn't fight anyone that doesn't respect martial arts. <laughs> I'll let you off the hook this time. Next time we fight fair and square. Yeah! Dreams are bad on Olafu recently. Donshu must be very busy. Thank you, mister. Remember to thank her for me. Why does she wander about alone? Well, I've delivered the medicine. I should report back to Donshu. Tree remained dead for thousands of years. How was she? Did you deliver? <sighs> she reminds me of myself when I was a child. I also had to find my way in the dark, face obstacles I couldn't predict, as well as deal with unconscious prejudices people had against me. If I was ever injured by bullies or after a fall, I'd run crying to the healers at the Alchemy Commission and ask them to heal me. I suppose that's why I followed in their footsteps, to pay a little kindness forward. Thank you for looking after the child. Could I ask you for another favor, friend? to meet the little girl. Can you lead me to her? I worry about her wandering around on her own. And I want to know what's been on her mind lately. Her parents passed away in the denizens of Abundance Wars. The relatives who took her in aren't close to her. And whenever I treat her, she often confides in me. A healer's medicine might remedy one's physical health, but sometimes the loneliness and hurt inside one's heart needs companionship and care to heal. She told me that whenever she's feeling troubled, she finds a quiet corner in the Artisanship Commission and just sits there, letting the sounds wash over her. Her parents used to be artisans in the commission so i think she has some nostalgic connection to the place in all likelihood that's where she'll be <sighs> there's danger around every corner these days especially for a sightless child let's go that 
tree remained dead for thousands of years, and it figured now's a good time to come back to life? What's happening? Is the girl in trouble? <laughs> Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Lend me your strength. Who's next? Skate back, Clara. Skate back, Clara. Help me, Mr. Storm. Dad? Lend me your strength. Who's next? It's all right. Everything's okay now, Xiao Yu. <laughs> Thank you, big brother. Thank you, Anshu. You don't need to be scared anymore. He is here. But I only think about all the trouble I've caused you two. I feel like such a burden. I'm sorry. Is that why you're crying? Maybe you should start getting used to this feeling. Because in the next few centuries, visually impaired people like us will continue to require help from everyone we meet. So if a little bit of guilt like this is enough to break your heart, then how will you manage such an arduous path? I'm not trying to console her. This is... the reality. Walking alone in the darkness. Fearing every incoming, invisible obstacle. Unable to understand other people's descriptions. Everyone, everything, is like a hot coal in the dark. Invisible, yet still able to burn you. As a long-life species, she can expect life to continue like this for nearly a thousand years. She must learn to depend upon herself rather than just foolishly waiting around for the next hero to swoop in and save her. One hopes that would be the case. But that would require someone to be by her side every waking second of every day. In the meantime, she'll have to learn to withstand the darkness. Just as I have. Hey, you're right, Sancho. <laughs> From now on, I'll do my best to rely on myself. Good. I hope you remember this. Forever. This place is too dangerous. Let's head back to Exalting Sanctum. Thank you again. For all you've done. It would seem we incomplete ones are often bullied from a tender age. I endured in numerous hardships to become Chief Alchemist. Yet, there are still things that leave me feeling helpless. That's the reason I said what I said. You might mistake my words for being hurtful. But the truth is, no amount of words can prepare her for what lies ahead. For long life species, these things are permanent. Whether we are beautiful or ugly, tall or short, wise or foolish, all of it is encoded into our flesh from the moment we are born. The impairments of short life species can be corrected with ingenia or surgery. But 
That's an impossibility for Sienjo natives. No matter the method employed, our bodies will eventually return to their original states. I too was once a non-believer. I fooled myself into acquiring artificial eye implants. Soon thereafter, my sightless eyes began to regenerate. And I was left in pain and despair. That brief window of sight that I regained has turned into a perpetual source of anguish. Forever etched into my mind. For long life species, this incompleteness is a permanent, unavoidable tenant. <laughs> what a joke. Even the denizens of abundance, so-called abominations, needn't endure such torture. Perhaps we incomplete ones are merely traitors, cursed by the plague's author. It's nothing. Thank you for sticking with me through all of this. I think my aspirations and exalting sanctum have been met. Oh. Hot to see you soon, friend. Don Shu needs more time to prepare my gift. There's nothing pressing right now. Why not head over to Spare Time Bookshop for a while? to buy something. All we ask is that you find a quiet spot away from the browsing areas. Ah, looks like the person you were waiting for has gotten in touch. There you are, friend. You've been running so many errands lately. I'd like for you to take some useful items away with Examining the exhibits in the Seat of Divine Foresight inspired me to create this. I referenced some historical texts and concocted a medicine that can extend your lifespan and improve your health. I call it the Broomdew Concentrate Palette. And I'd like you to have it. Consuming it will make your body light, agile, and promote longevity and well-being. As a nameless, it'll make your journey a much less arduous one. Well then, that's the perhaps the next time we meet. Hmm. Tastes a bit strange, but... Uh, wait a minute. Ugh, my head. What's happened? Something's wrong. I'm burning up. Feels like I can't breathe. <sighs> Seems to be calming down a bit. But still, this doesn't seem right. Hey, uh, there's something I need to tell you. Isn't this the seed of the no way? Ah, oh, great. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Merciful Lend me your strength. 
What a headache. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. Don't mess with me. Who's next? <laughs> Lance ablaze! Lance! Forward! at the ready. into the seat of divine foresight and started brandishing your weapon. It looked like you'd lost control. As if you'd been stricken with Mara. There has to be something awry. Tell me what happened to you before arriving at the seat of divine foresight. From what you're saying, it seems like the gift she gave to you must be related to the disciple's prescription we examined earlier. But the healer who examined you just now said your body doesn't seem to have been affected. Could Don Shu be playing a trick on you? Or is her medicine somehow not working as planned? I'll put out a wanted notice for Don Shu immediately. If you find any trace of her, get in touch with me. Take this detang with you. It might just help you find this. Don Shu isn't here. I've got it. Don Shu's medicine box has her scent on it. I'll ask the D-Ting that Ching Zhu let me. Time to come out, little D-Ting. down he's a friend many of our brethren have fallen by his hands yes i am aware what i said he's my friend leave us yes master i didn't expect you to come looking for me I lied to you about many things, but I reserve my apology only for deceiving you into taking the medicine. As for the other falsehoods, they were merely in aid of commuting you in jest the broomdew concentrate pellet I gave you. 
That which the elixir seekers that arrive on the Sienjo dream of. The formula to immortality. To take it is to initiate the transformation from a short life species into a Sienjo person or an abomination. Depending on your perception. Please believe me when I say that never once have I thought about harming you. I merely wanted to offer you the chance to obtain immortality and freedom. Friend, please. I urge you to leave the Lafu. Abandon this struggle. The truth isn't what it appears. What did the minions at the seat of divine foresight tell you about this conflict? That the Rainbow Arbiter is the emissary of the righteous? That the Arbiter is chasing the heathen plague's author across the stars? While the disciples of Sanctus Medicus abet their heresy? Do you really think that is the case? You don't understand Merciful Medicus, nor the devilish Archer author, but you understand me. Do you see me? I do not ask for you to pick a side. I... Most unfortunate. Had you known me first, Perhaps we Master, we should leave now. I sincerely wish that this will be our last m farewell, nameless. This battle is unavoidable. I'll free you from your disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Protect everyone too. Oh, miss your star. Don't mess with me. Mission command. No. Immortality means forever. Lend me your strength. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. What a headache. I'll end your misery. I'll free you from Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <sighs> I'd better report my findings to Qingzu at the seat of divine foresight. <laughs> You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. Don't mess with me, bitch! Yeah. Uh, troublesome. Stay back, Clara. Back on the right. Stay oh, back, Clara. It's time. Good. Annihilate. What a headache. <laughs> It's getting late. Where to now? Hey. There's something I need to tell you. How did it go? So you weren't able to apprehend her. <sighs> I see. These people have been in hiding for so long. 
They must have a more nefarious plan. I've got to apprehend them quickly. Once again, thank you for all your help. With your intel, we will put a stop to Don Shu. Jing Yuan tells me you'll be joining the forces led by the Alchemy Commission and Master Diviner. If you run into Don Shu again, take this as a token of my appreciation.